This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today, I am so excited to be sharing some early access content from The Sims 4 for Rent expansion pack that comes out in about a week now. Uh, I was lucky enough to be given super early access. It's a completely separate version of the game that has the newest update as well as the new expansion pack. That's why you'll see my name kind of bouncing around the screen. It says Griffey. It's just bouncing around. Uh, that's actually built into the game. I didn't put that there. There's nothing I can do about it. It's just how they keep uh, early access a little bit more safe. It's watermarked so you can see whose version of the game is being shown. So uh, apologies if that's a little bit annoying to look at, but regardless, we are in the world of Tomerang right now and we are building my very first like fully functional customized apartment building and I'm very excited about it. I actually ended up building two different apartment buildings on this lot. They are the same shape and I just thought having two would be nice like a little complex here and uh, so we're just moving around this building and then I'm going to be duplicating it over here. It ends up being a total of I have four units. They're each two floors and have only one bedroom and I think they're really cute. I thought making some like tiny or smaller apartments would be a nice way to get started playing around with this pack and uh, this was actually my first ever build with the new pack so I really hope you will enjoy this one. If you do it's not available to download yet but it will be once the pack is out on December 7th. Uh, I'll be uploading it to my gallery if you'd like to follow me there. My gallery ID is Griffy, G-R-Y-P-H-I, the same as it is here on YouTube. And I will make sure to upload this and any of my other early access builds that I will be sharing over the next couple of days. And actually speaking of early access builds, I'm going to be live tonight on twitch.tv slash Griffey. That'll also be linked down below. And we're going to be playing some more of this expansion pack live and doing some building, maybe some gameplay, but probably mostly building. If you'd like to join us, I would love to have you join us over on Twitch. It's always a lot of fun to do some live streams. And I think having early access to this on stream is going to be so much fun. And uh, if there's anything you'd like to see, we can explore that live. So uh, make sure you click that link below and join me at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Can we take a moment, though, to talk about the landscaping items that came with Show Live Edit Objects with this pack? This bush or tree or greenery piece I have out front, uh, a lot of the palm trees, which are pretty much the same ones that came with the Island Living pack, are gorgeous. It's nice to see those again, but there are so many new landscaping pieces. I used quite a few of them in this build and you'll see some more in other builds I've done, but they are stunning. I go through all of that in my build and buy overview where I go through all of the different items that came with this pack as well as debug, live edit objects. I should have posted that before this, so I will have that link down below if you'd like to see that as well and see every single item because the greenery is beautiful. Also this bike rack, oh my gosh, and there's bikes that actually fit into this. I'm sure you could put functional ones in here if you'd like to if you have other packs, but I just think it looks so nice there. And then I'm just getting some bushes over here in these little planters I put on the sides of the building. Here's some more of the new greenery. It's just so, so pretty. I was really excited about it. We're putting a new tree out back as well. And then I also swapped out for some of these bushes. I go back and forth quite a few times trying to figure out what I want the landscaping to look like because this was basically my first time playing around with it. I had already looked at it, but I hadn't really gotten to play around with using it in a build yet. So moving all of these pieces around and trying to figure out how to make it look the best it can. I also really love all of the electricity, like the the power cables, the telephone poles that I put here. Uh, these are also some solar panels I'm putting on the roofs, which I thought were quite fun. And uh, yeah, just playing around with all of the new items, trying to figure out the best way to lay everything out. I tried a bunch of different colors on the outside of this build. I'm not sure how much of the color selection I kept in, uh, but it did end up going with very neutral exteriors in the end. And I think it looks really nice. Uh, also inside each of these buildings, I do have a area for mail. So when you first walk in, it's just like in the hallway at the bottom of the steps, or I guess there's not steps. There's steps inside each of the buildings. I was thinking about having a hallway with steps, but I decided I wanted the apartments to be two stories instead of one story apartments with like extra ones on the top. But that could be fun too, having like a really, really tiny apartments. I'll probably do something like that sometime soon. I was kind of thinking maybe once I have access to the pack with the rest of my games uh, or with the rest of the packs that I might do some tiny apartments in Mount Komorebi. I think that would be really fun. So for right now, I am just figuring out the layouts here. So there ends up being a kitchen and living room on the bottom floor. And then the top floor has a 
kind of like a a makeshift room or not quite a room. It's just like the space at the top of the hall that I have a different purpose for in each of the apartments. And then there is a bathroom and a bedroom. And I decorated three of the four of these apartments. All of them have all the built-in fixtures and wallpapers and all of that sort of stuff. It's just three of them have furniture in them and one doesn't. I figured if you wanted to decorate one of them for yourself and pick out which couches and beds and all of that, I would leave one of them fairly ready to move in. So uh, you'll see that, but we're just trying to figure out the general layout here. And then I end up copying it over to all of the other apartments. And at this point, I haven't actually selected any of these rooms or units to be separate units. I just decided to get an idea of what I was building and then I was going to assign them as different units later. So you'll see that in a little while when I start picking out what's going to be what unit and actually telling the game which parts are different apartments. And I think it's really easy to do and I'm really impressed with how this works. Uh, it's so cool to actually be able to customize and create spaces like this and just assign different rooms to different units. Uh, so you'll see that in a little bit, but right now I'm just playing around with the colors in this kitchen. We have some gorgeous new tiles and wallpapers and curtains. Oh my gosh, I love the curtains. Uh, so just playing around with those. I thought I was gonna go with this red tile at first, but I do end up switching it because I loved this blue and yellow rug. So I decided to change the color scheme from red and yellow to blue and yellow for this apartment. And that really helped it make, like helped it come together in the end. I also ended up putting a bunch of like different scuffs and tears and things to make each of these units a little bit more run down. I didn't want them to be completely disgusting, but I wanted it to be like, okay, this space is a little bit older and we got a lot of those new items or the new scuffs and stuff with this pack. So I decided to use those. I'm probably going to do something incredibly rundown once I have access to my other packs and we have all of those things because we have so many scuffs and terrors from all of the different packs now. Uh, not just this one. There's vampires, werewolves, the basement kit, Strangerville. <laughs> we can make some really gross stuff. And I've definitely done that on the channel before. One of my favorite builds would probably be the grungy or rundown motel that I did a couple of months ago. <laughs> that one was so much fun. So if there's anything particular you would like to see, let me know. Maybe we'll do an, like a dirty apartment complex or maybe even like a hotel. Technically, it's not functional, but I feel like we're closer to being able to have hotels with this new apartment system. So I think that could be really fun. But anyway, just decorating this living room space and kitchen area. I love this new dish rack. I know it doesn't really make sense for it to not be next to the sink, but I thought it was so pretty and I really wanted to include it. So I ended up putting it over there anyway, and then that little shelving unit in the kitchen is also really pretty. Uh, but moving on to the bathroom, trying to configure this space with the new sink and new squat toilet. So just trying to figure out which ones to use. I ended up swapping for this slightly more modern one as it had a gold flusher or pull tab. I don't know what you, you call this a flusher on a toilet, uh, but that way it matched with the sink a little bit better. We also have this gorgeous piece that has a mirror and a towel hanging from it. So I put that here and I also put a chair in the corner and this sculptural elephant. I just really wanted to decorate with some of the new items. And I think this room ends up coming out really cute in the ends. I just think the tiles are so pretty and I love the new plants and everything's just very patterned. And I really enjoy that. I think the sink is gorgeous. Uh, and then for this particular hallway, I just have a side table up here and a few different of these tapestries that came with the pack. I thought that they were really pretty and it was just like a cute way to decorate the space. It's not as functional as some of the other apartments. One of them, I end up having an office space. Another one, I have like a space to do some art. Uh, but this one, I just wanted to use this side table because I think it is so pretty. And I'm really excited that this one is actually not only in the side table category, but it actually functions as a dresser as well. Uh, because a lot of times I want to use one of the side tables in the game, but you know, it's not a dresser. But this one's in the dresser category as well. So I was really excited about that because it's such a pretty piece and I feel like I'm gonna get more use out of it with it functioning as a dresser. Anyway, this is the bedroom for this unit. Continuing on with the yellow and blue color scheme using this new canopy bed that came with the pack. It is so pretty. Uh, some of the swatches are a little bit difficult to use because of the wood tones, but it's just such a gorgeous piece and I'm so excited to have this in the game. I feel like it's going to work so well in so many different builds. So 
Uh, it's a welcome addition in my opinion. And yeah, we're just getting some artwork on the wall over here. That's a new dresser piece I have at the end. It's like a closet and I get some more scuffs on the wall as well as another tapestry. And that should be pretty much it for this bedroom and pretty much it for this first unit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So now I am going to go through and copy and paste a couple of different things and start sectioning off the units. So you can see I have outlines for all of the different units. I have the pink ones for unit four. I have them like going from right or from left to right, one, two, three, four. And uh, you basically just click on the room and then you're able to select it as which apartment you want it to be. So uh, just moving all the doors around and you can see all the other units have different color schemes now. And uh, then we're going to be decorating this next unit here. Before we go into the room that I have the water heater in at the ends, I will be decorating that so that there is additional space in there. We have a couple of decorative items uh, because the new water heater and electric boxes are functional items that are with this pack. So, uh, you know, your electricity could go out or your water and those things can be maintained. But I also wanted to kind of build out the room to make it look like there was space for washers and dryers. So that way, if you have the laundry pack, you could go ahead and put like a laundry area and it's a shared space uh, that is not connected to a specific unit. It's like the shared area for all of the apartments. Uh, so I thought having laundry in there would be really nice. And uh, that's what I intended to have for it. I just put some countertops in there instead. But We'll get to that in a little while. First, we are decorating this unit. This one's a lot more black and white, but I think it looks really pretty. I am just getting some stuff in the kitchen. We also have a coat rack by the door and then getting a couple of paintings going up the steps. And then upstairs, we're just recoloring all of the pieces in the bathroom. I had copied and pasted this and then I got rid of some of the furniture pieces in here. So then it wouldn't be exactly decorated the same as the other units. I also painted the walls in here and got some different stuff growing on the walls. I feel like it's pretty realistic to have all of that in a bathroom. I know my bathroom does. If you have an, a, bathroom, a bathroom, especially in an apartment where it's not one on a outfacing wall, so you don't have a window, it's really hard to not have that experience in a bathroom. So I think it's kind of realistic. And since it was new, I decided to put it in these apartments. And then this one is the apartment that has the desk space at the top of the steps. Uh, so just got a desk here, a laptop, couple of decorations. I really like this new plant. Honestly, the new plants from this pack are beautiful and I'm so excited to have them. I always want new plants, so uh, that's always fun. Anyway, I also got a cork board up here. I don't think I put any postcards on it. I just thought it would be nice to fill in the space. And then if you wanted to play with that in gameplay, you could go ahead and have your Sims have some pen pals and get some postcards. Uh, and then this is going to be the bedroom. It ends up being green and black, <laughs> much like the rest of this apartment. They're very color themed. I think when you don't have specific Sims in mind and you're only using one pack, that's probably the best way to go about it is just have like color themed rooms and then you get to really explore some of the new pieces. I'm not using the new bed in here just because I didn't want all of the apartments to have the same bed. <laughs> so I decided for this one, I'd use a base game bed, but all of the other items are new. The new bedside table and dresser, paintings, curtains, all of that. I thought about putting these marbles on the table, but I think I get rid of them in the end. Yeah, I did. Uh, but I really love the new plants and the sconce I have above the uh, bedside table or the new lantern. I'm not sure what to call it. It's a beautiful light. Uh, and then we're going into this room I had mentioned that has the water heater. I added one of these new windows here that's kind of cracked open. And I'm just adding some counters over here. And I will be getting rid of a couple of them in a little bit. Uh, but just getting some more of these tears and smudges and all of that. I feel like shared laundry spaces are not usually the cleanest spaces anyway. I've always lived in a place that had shared laundry and uh, they're they're not the most nicely maintained in my, my experience. But where I have the two counters now is kind of where I'm imagining the washer and dryers would go. I was thinking two stacked ones. Uh, so there would be two washers and two dryers in that room for the residents to use. I thought that that would be nice. And then we are in the main hallway space where we have the space for the mailbox. And then I got a little side table here and just getting some decorations on it. And uh, that should be it for the interior. I do end up swapping out the mirror though and putting a cork board instead that has all sorts of little flyers and stuff on it that just felt more realistic for an apartment building. So <laughs> that's what I have to do. I know 
places I've lived have had things like that or just like little, little notices down in the common area, the hallway leading up to your apartment. Uh, and then this is the last unit that I'm going to decorate. This one is more like purple, brown, and yellow. And I think the color scheme in here is really pretty. I actually really like the tile in the kitchen. I am using one of the new chairs from the pack, but this couch is from Base Game. And this carving up above the couch is gorgeous. That is also from the new pack. And this side table piece has the built-in mirror. It's just such a really pretty piece that we don't have anything like that in the game yet. So welcome addition for sure. Uh, in this particular apartment, I did add a kettle in one of the other ones. I have the pressure cooker, the pressure cooker that's kind of like a rice cooker in game. So I just wanted to use some of the new appliances throughout these apartments, uh, but they're not all the same. And then upstairs in this unit, I end up having a bookcase and a easel. So the sim is probably a little bit more into art. I just wanted the upstairs spaces to be purposed a little bit different from unit to unit. So it wasn't like they all had a desk at the top of the steps. Although I think that's probably the most useful thing to have in that space. Uh, I didn't want them all to be the same, but this is the other bathroom. Just getting a couple of things on the wall and a little rug for your shower. I think it's quite cute. And then I got a rug in the hallway as well. And then we should be working on the final bedroom. Like I said, the final apartment I did leave empty. So you can furnish that for whoever you would like. But for these ones, I thought it would be nice to have three of the four decorated. Uh, using the new bed again in here in this really pretty red swatch and getting the matching bedside table and just getting some decorations there. I use a lot of this new lamp in this build because it's just so pretty. It feels like a lamp I've seen a thousand times before in real life. And I, it's just cool to have that in the game. Whenever we get an item that just feels like a normal item that you see in your day to day life, you know, you're going to use it a lot because it's going to be so useful and fit in so many spaces. So I was really happy with that. And then I'm using this little side table again over here. It is so pretty. I moving the mirror over there and uh, decorate this ever so slightly. I believe, yeah, we got some towels up here and uh, a candle. I think I keep the candle. Uh, I was playing around with it for a while, but we get a plant over here, some towels and a candle. And I think that's it for that space. I think it looks really cute. And uh, of course, getting some more grime on the walls and a, another tapestry over here and a rug. And that should be it for that bedroom. And for the inside, I also decided to put some hopscotch outside. None of these are decorated to have kids, but I still thought it was really cute as a new item. And you can repurpose these however you'd like, maybe add space for kids, uh, try to squeeze in any other bedroom. You probably could at the top of the stairs if you really wanted to turn that into a closed off room and add another bedroom for a toddler or child. It's a very small space, but these are small apartments. So I feel like that would make sense. Uh, but this is the yard space that I decorated. I have some area for your Sims to do some gardening. I also have a telescope out there. And then I'm just finishing up the landscaping and getting some more tile around the property to make it look complete and built into this area. But that's pretty much it for this build. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Also, make sure to click that link down below if you'd like to join us for some more early access content tonight on Twitch, where we're going to be building some more with this for rent expansion pack. Thank you so very much for watching. Please enjoy the screenshots and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.